When you drive up to this new FEMA vaccine site in Orlando, there's one thing the federal agency wants to make clear. Walk-ups are welcome, meaning appointments are not needed. I, I would love to see more people here. The U.S. Army soldiers who are inside and at the ready to give vaccines say they're surprised that the parking lot wasn't more packed on opening day. They can vaccinate up to 2,000 people a day here, but by lunchtime, they say only 500 came by. If people are confused about what to do, please come here and we'll help you through. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer says the city has folks pounding the pavement to help get the word out. We have canvassers that are going into neighborhoods um, trying to make sure that people are aware of this site and that they can walk up to this site um, or get transportation and be dropped off at this site. This site at Valencia College isn't the only FEMA site that opened this week. They also set up two mobile sites, including this one at Inglewood Recreation Center, to bring the doses to underserved communities. This particular last phase has been primarily targeted to those folks that do not have access, but are being impacted the most. We have to remember that the black and brown communities have been impacted the most with COVID and they are dying at a faster rate. After trying to get a COVID vaccine for over a month. Every time I go on, it's like nothing available. Barbara Nelson says it's all about location, location, location. Excellent. Wasn't too far from my house. I knew how to get here, so not a problem. And you can see the line is not long right now. A lot of folks have been wondering what happens to those extra doses that aren't used. Well, the Army says they save them for the next day. Right now, they are giving out the Pfizer vaccine. Pretty soon, they say they expect to get Johnson & Johnson, and people will have the option. Live at Valencia College, Marley Martinez, Flash 2 News.